All right, boys, welcome back to the repo shop. Here we are on Spencer TV's repo shop. The Fordzilla is up and running. We got our full diesel, and uh, the F450 is going to be ripping it here today, boys. So, very, uh, very exciting day. Here, let me, uh, here, where's, what's the button? There it is. Okay. Let me see if I can jump up here. All right, here we go. I was uh, state record in high jump. Here we go. Through. There we go. All right, so we're up and in here. We got the Kurt winch and then we also have the the hook in here so last last time we did a towing episode i didn't have the actual like hook so we got a winch on to our gooseneck it's gonna work really good if i need to take the the tailgate off i will in case like obviously like if we have to tow something that's like right here we can't like have the winch like just slamming on the tailgate so we will have to take the tailgate off if we need to in certain situations so we have two calls already this morning i guess it's not really morning it's more afternoon anyway we already have two calls. Let me fold up the tailgate. I'm on my way down right now. Throw the lights on. And uh, we're on our way. So, yeah, the F450 is going to be put to the test here. We have two calls. One is an F150, very similar to the Squad's old truck. Guys, by the way, Squad got a new truck. Check out my Instagram. Link in the description if you want to check that out. I'll be posting a post on this truck. It's a uh, F250 6.7 liter power stroke. Diesel, obviously, with the power stroke. And uh, it's super nice. It's 2017. He just upgraded from his F150, which we'll see in a second here. First thing I'm going to do is, okay, this is probably the, a bit slower way, but oh well. First one we're going to get to is the, is a blazer. So again, guys, make sure you go check out my Instagram if you want to see that. The My Instagram link is in the description. I'll just say Instagram, the link to it. Go check it out. It's Spencer TV YouTube, so very cool stuff there. I'll try and post more this summer now I'm off school doing fun stuff, kind of, not really. And we are going, uh, what's the best way? We'll go the north side of town i uh, probably shouldn't have went in town oh well now with this winch we're gonna have a super legendary setup it's gonna work really really good the nice thing is we're high up it's gonna be able to kind of like whenever we winch it it's gonna lift it up i'm gonna i want to winch it to wherever i'm comfortable and then we'll pull it the rest of the way but it's gonna be super nice with this you know just Fords are like really high anyway, plus you have the uh, just like the stock, like lit. They, they just seem to sit higher than like Chevys and stuff. Okay, is this no? I thought there was something down there. And then uh, and then we have the tracks to also give us like super crazy height and, and torque. You might be thinking like, Spencer, why do you need the tracks? Well, most of the time I, I am kind of on cement, but when we go and do these here, I'm gonna. Uh, all right, there is the blazer. He said he was on these like trails. And he, and he tipped it. Here, let me go slow down in here. There we go. That's why we have tracks right there. We could do maneuvers like that. All right, here is the blazer. It, it matches the description. The guy called in last night. I told him I couldn't get to him last night, like midnight. I don't know why he was out here. I think he was a little bit intoxicated. So what we're going to do is hook up to the hitch here. Here, let me jump in. We'll detach from our hook. Jump back up here if I can. Oops. Make sure to lower the tailgate, of course. And then there is the hook. Then what we want to do, if it'll let us, oh no, I don't want to lose this. Did I just lose it? I literally just said, this is a really bad, oh no, I'm going to lose this thing by the, by the end of this. Oh no. I keep losing it. All right, here's the hook. Now what I have to, this is actually kind of hard. I have to get it. Let's see. Can I set it right there? No. I, I have to get it to where... All right, here's the back. I have to get it to where the blazer will attach to this hook, and then... Then we attach... There, I got it. Oh, that was so clutch. All right, so the hook's on. I had to drop it, jump in the blazer, and quickly press Q. And there we go. We are attached with the winch. Okay, this is going to work out good. I don't think I need to take out the, um, the tailgate. Let's go ahead and turn on the winch. Is she running? Let's make sure everything's going good. This is going to be the first official winch out. All right. She's good. She's connected directly to our battery. And our diesel has two batteries. All right. Here we go. We're going to start the winch. Z to winch. I just kind of want to get it out of whatever position it's in. And then it's pretty much time to just pull. And we hopefully it's going to flip over. Nice. There we go. All right. Let's get it out of the ditch. Oh, my goodness. This is pretty tough. Go, baby. Go. We're popping our front wheel. All right. Slow it down. Let's just... Oops. Maybe let's just winch it. Oh, my goodness. This thing is... Uh, it was way easier to drag when it was on its side. Obviously, because I think the brakes are locked up. 
All right, that's a lot of tension. That's pretty much all we really wanted to do there was here. Let's see if I can detach. All we want to do is get it obviously off of its side and then like not on not um like in the weeds there. All right, there we go. We'll detach from the hook. And then what we're going to do is have our other services. We'll have our tow truck come back, which will be me. Nobody else is working today, guys. Actually, we aren't making too much money on our repo services. We might have to move or sell our shop and like downgrade or something. That might be something in the future. All right, so the blazer is there. I'm going to leave that. Then I'm going to go to our other site or our other job, and it's super close. So I'm going to knock out these two with the winch, and then I'm going to come back. Actually, the... The F-150 does not need a tow truck. Obviously, the Blazer is almost totaled. I don't... It looks to be totaled. The engine, like, looks pretty bad. But this Ford is just stuck. All they need us to do is get it on this nice road here. All right, you might be thinking, like, yo, Spencer, like, how can somebody get stuck in this? Well, it's an F-150, and also, this is a lot, like, it's a lot wetter than you think. My tracks are actually, like, kind of starting to sink a little bit. This is, uh... This is a pretty wet field. Let me, uh, all right, we're detached there. Go ahead, detach. Jump up. You're going to see the tires of the F-150 are starting to sink in pretty good. I just lost my hook, and that's another, that's a $60 or $600 expense. I just lost the tow hook in the mud. I dropped it, and then I can't find it again. And this stuff, it doesn't really look like mud. It's more like wet clay. It's kind of like, um, what do you call it? Um where like uh quicksand it's kind of like quicksand kind of it's like sand but muddy and it's pretty wet so the f-150 you could see the tires were kind of sinking in there and once you start to like bog down in those fields you're done like don't even fight it just shut it off the farmer's really smart and i'm happy he called us too because we're going to be able to make some money off this you know we'll charge them like 200 bucks because it's kind of a unique a unique kind of tow out and then the the blazer we're gonna charge that guy like 400 bucks because that yeah that's uh but our tow wrench i just lost my tow hook and that was 60 600 dollars so i think f is 19 kind of priced it weird anyway all right let's jump back up here i need to, i got a blue one this time so hopefully it stands out a bit better there we go throw it up there and we'll attach all right so let's head back all right, so we got the hook. The only hard part is when I jump down here, the game likes to have me drop it. All right, I don't know if it sits if it sits like that. I don't know why how we lost the other one. Um, it must have flown somewhere that I'm just not gonna see. All right, so what we want to do here is kind of the same thing I just did. There we go. All right, that worked pretty good. Not gonna lie. All right, so we are attached, and then we should be able to jump over here and winter up. There we go. And first thing I, w I don't really like to drive. First thing I like to do, like I said, is use the winch. There we go. All right. This one's working a lot better. And then I just want to pull it out the best I can. That was not bad at all. That was actually really, that was much easier than the blazer. And we should be able to detach there. There we go. Maybe I should always keep the winch attached to the hook so I never lose it. That's what I should do. I should keep the winch attached to the hook. And so there's always like a rope leading to it. So I'm never going to be able to lose it. Anyway, that's actually a pretty good idea. We're going to leave the, the Ford there. The farmer's supposed to be out here. He said he would meet me out here. I'll just send him a bill online. It's really not that big a deal. And then, yeah, I don't see the hook anywhere. And then we're going to go back to the shop. We're going to get our... I think we'll just get a rollback. That'll be totally fine. Or just... Yeah, I think that'll be fine. Or PJ trailer with the winch. I think that's what we'll do. We'll okay. We'll we'll kind of see our setup, see what we got. Again, guys, we we aren't making that much money. I thought we were. This town just I don't know. Everybody, I don't know. It's weird. We don't we don't get that many calls. We don't get that much business, and we might have to move to like a like a Ravenport or just a different place. But it's just pretty rural and usually like in rural places people can kind of handle situations on their own like typically like in town when somebody gets a flat tire like they need to call somebody to come pick them up because a lot of people just don't know how to change their tire to like little maintenance and stuff so i don't know the demand just like isn't here right now and we might have to move all right enough of me complaining about business let's head over and see 
All right, we're pulling. It's been a while since you guys have been here with us. If you guys want to see more rebuild videos, make sure to hit the like button. We really appreciate it. I don't know. I, I mean, I really appreciate it. I don't know why I keep saying we. I guess we all appreciate it. And... Can't remember. I, yeah, I don't think I have a PJ trailer back there. All right, all right, I'll go ahead and back this up. The train's coming in. I kind of don't want to get stuck on that. I kind of want to get this job done. There we go. Yeah, we're going to take the roll back. The blazer shouldn't be too big. It's not small, but it shouldn't be too much of a worry for us. There we go. We'll drive over here. And then, yeah, this is a pretty easy, relaxed kind of day. As long as the blazer gets loaded up. And then also, it's going to be kind of rough getting out of there, too. It's not a perfect, like, setup for us to just pull in and pull in and pull out. The winch is a huge plus for us and really helps us with the business, but hopefully it's a good invest. I mean, honestly, we only spent like 1500 bucks for all the winches on the vehicles, but uh, hopefully, you know, it's a good investment. I think it, I think it will be. I think it will be just a fine one. And then, okay, where's this guy at? Oh, yeah. It's up by that big building over there by the shop. There it is. All right. Like I said, the only trouble we're going to run into is getting out of here just because we're going to have to go through the, some bushes. There, there's some off-roading trails like through here. I think that's what the guy was doing. And he ventured a little bit off the trail, like off the off-roading trail. And I don't know why, but it really looked like when we first got here that he kind of drove up on this bank. He was driving up on here and then he kind of, you know, and then fell on his head. He kind of tipped there. So let's go ahead and get this guy ready. We'll go ahead and get the ramps there. About how I want it. All right, this guy is a lot heavier than I thought. He's squatting me. And I just want to get some momentum here as we kind of... The, the dish isn't too bad, but I just need a little bit of momentum. All right, we got to shoot through the bushes. My front tire, I'm not, be able, I'm not able to turn too good. Yep, there it is. Guys, we are squatting. All right, it honestly doesn't look like it, but when this guy comes off of here, you're going to be like, oh, yeah, you're totally right. The gap right there is not... That is way bigger than before if you guys notice yeah we're surprised nothing's broken our leaf spring should be able to handle this just like the tow rating on this truck but honestly it's a lot heavier than i thought i guess the old blazers were made with you know cast iron no i have no idea how they were made but obviously they weigh more a lot they weigh a lot more now um compared to now so yeah and compared to all like the new plastic vehicles just so much plastic this is just heavy metal sagging us down when we got it on here like the front tires popped up but nothing like the ford when we, or nothing like the zilla when we were pulling at her out i remember yeah this thing is really heavy the ford zilla was even struggling with it so there we go guys i know today's episode was a bit shorter but we are getting really bad business not much going on around here i actually pretty boring and i don't know it's uh i mean these are fun little jobs but we don't get a lot of them so that's the problem oh my goodness yeah, we have no suspension. It, well, our suspension is like gone because he's the 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 blazer is using it. So we're maxing out. W yeah, we're like maxed out. And then whenever we hit a bump, it's just straight. Just the frame is just getting hit. All right, there we go. We'll go ahead in here. Then we'll back her up. Hope you guys enjoyed today's episode. Thank you all so much for watching. I am struggling to get up this hill, and I need to get this guy off here ASAP. So I will hopefully. Uh, you guys hit the like button on your way out subscribe if you haven't already. Thanks for watching the Ram didn't <laughs> decent not that good um, But yeah, okay, you can kind of see how much is squatting here. Thanks guys for watching and I'll see you all in the next one